Jesus Christ. Oh God, it's like you can't even see the pony underneath the hair. What the heck? God, I can still, oh, there's like hair gel in this. This is gross, ugh. I think what I need to do is um, give her a serious bath and then see what I can possibly do about this nightmare hair, which I also have cut, you can probably tell. Oh, there's so much wrong with this. Ah. That actually took longer than expected. Uh, it was much harder to wash all the hair gel out than I thought, and there's still like a couple knots and things. All right, so I'm not really sure where I'm gonna take this, but I think what I wanna do is try and flatten this out and make it kind of um, straight. So what I wanna do is just pull this hair really flat and straight. I know there are some people that use f like flat irons. Uh, I don't want to do that because um, one, I feel like I'd end up burning my pony's hair off, but also it's like I can't be bothered. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pull this real straight and nice, like a flat ribbon, like how Derpy Derp910 used to back in the old ye old days where he would uh, make pony videos. Here's a fun fact actually. If you ever hear someone say like ye old, like ye old tavern or something, in ye old days they actually didn't say ye ever. Um, there was a character in the English alphabet called Thorn that was used to denote the hard th sound. So not like Thorn, which is a soft th, but like the, which is a hard th. So when the printing press came around and they were using some European printing presses, they didn't have the Thorn like character to print with, so they used Y because it looked the same or similar. And people still say it to this day, but you're not supposed to, it's supposed to just be TH. So yeah, fun fact. Um, I'm going to use an elastic to temporarily secure this hair down um, and let it dry for a little bit, I think, because it's just, it's, it's puffing up like crazy. All I really want to do is just have it be straight like this. So I'm just gonna, yeah, really smoothen out this hair and try and make it straight and flat as best I can. Okay, I think that's as good as I can get it. I'm gonna let this sit in the uh, burning Australian sun for a little bit to dry it off and I will come back when it is dry. I left it about half an hour and let's see how, no, this band's gonna stay on. Let's see how Trixie's going. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 hey! That's not too bad. I'm gonna smooth it out with my finger just a little bit. Okay, it's obviously still wanting to curl up, but that's okay. I will allow for some lack of straightness. I'm gonna just give it a nice, just, just pull it a gentle, not even gentle, a really intense pull. Oh, check that out. That's not a bad look. I'm gonna give her some relatively large purple earrings. And that's just not sticking on. All right, never mind. Okay, the purple isn't working. Let's try some pearl earrings. Mm, not bad. I kind of like that. Okay, let's try one more. Stick it on the outside. Uh, 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 nope. All right, I'm gonna put the tiniest, tiniest, minuscule amount of blue tack. There we go. Normal over now, but um, the earrings are staying on. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. Like for saying that you couldn't even see her face at the beginning. She's got some nice like gentle curls. Um, and other than that, pearl earrings are a really nice touch. She's really simple and clean. You could do a lot with her now. Yay. Thank you for watching this episode of me fixing up my terribly neglected pony hair. Um, and if you would like to see more, leave a like and maybe I'll make a couple more episodes. All right, bye.